As last week, we join together in a statement of faith that comes from the Iona community. We believe in God who made the sun and the sky, the stars and the sea, who calls us to live responsibly. We believe in Jesus Christ, who became human, who healed the sick, who talked to children, who made friends with sinners. He burned brightly and offended many. His journey was one of life and death and resurrection. His light continues to shine in darkness. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who inspires the scriptures and whose breath we breathe. We believe that God calls us to be a community, committed to one another, offering a welcome to everyone, old and young, rich and poor, strong and weak. We believe that God calls us to be peacemakers, workers for justice, brothers and sisters, a light for our world. Amen. Today we have one of our monthly advocate slots and Alan is going to update us on Nema Crafts, one of the 12 charities that we support regularly through the year. And after that, Matt will come to lead us in our prayers. This is Josh Fatt. He was born with curvature of the spine and also profoundly deaf. Josh Fatt was raised by his extended family, who made it pretty clear they didn't really want him around. Like many other disabled children in Tanzania, he was hidden away from the rest of the community because he was seen as a shame on his family. No one took the time to talk with him or teach him sign language. Because of his disability, he also wasn't sent to school as a kid, but was given a sign name, Hunchback, a constant reminder that he was different from everyone else and wasn't expected to achieve much. The best he could hope for would be a life of begging on the streets. In spite of his situation, Josphat did eventually finish primary school at the age of 22. Just at this time, Susie Hart, a textile artist from England, was looking to set up a papermaking workshop with deaf adults. She invited Josphat to come and learn. This was the first time Josphat had been invited to start anything. It turned out he was gifted at making paper and pretty soon, he was the one teaching others how to do it. The cards and notebooks that Josphat made were an immediate hit among the tourists coming through Iringa. And so the story of Neymar began. Now, 15 years later, Neymar Crafts employs and trains over 100 deaf and disabled people in different workshop areas. It's got a really popular cafe and also a guest house. Across the centre, deaf and disabled staff are learning and using their creative skills, building friendships and growing in confidence. Their success as artisans, cooks, waiters and managers is also impacting the community in a profound way. Other businesses in Oringa have been so inspired by their work that they are now hiring people with disabilities too. Oringa itself is becoming known as a town that is friendly to people with disabilities. The Neymar Craft Social Enterprise is now supporting more than just its own staff wages and overheads. It's funding the Neymar Therapy Centre, which treats disabled children so that their quality of life can be improved too. And the parents of these children now have a network of support. Neymar also trains entrepreneurs with disabilities from across the region who want to start their own businesses. We have a deaf football team who travel out to rural villages each month and after playing the local side, talk to the community about valuing their disabled children. And since 2015, Neymar has been building homes for its staff, so that they can build a brighter and more secure future for themselves and their families. People from all over the world who come and see Neymar Crafts are always struck by the creativity and purposefulness of our artisans, and the sense that anything is possible. Neymar means grace in Kiswahili the local language. We believe that it's in God's grace that every person is able to achieve their very best and be who they were made to be. 
Josh Spat's sign name is no longer Hunchback. After working at Neymar, his friends gave him a new sign. He is able. And this is what Neymar Crafts is all about. Giving people with disabilities the opportunity to show their ability. And perhaps even changing others' perceptions along the way. By buying from our range of handmade products, coming to visit us in Oringa, or connecting with us via our website, you too can be part of this incredible story, enabling deaf and physically disabled people in Tanzania. Sadly, the past year has seen the global pandemic drain Tanzania of tourists. Tourists, upon whom the name of shop, cafe and guest house in Iringa, rely for 75% of their annual income. The Neymar stock rooms have overflowed with unsold products and the staff home building project stands idle for lack of money. New strategies have had to be developed. The Neymar tailors turn to sewing masks, face shields and gowns from their homes. A new online shop has been launched to reach customers in East Africa while the Neymar carpenters turn to more local customers, producing bespoke furniture, which they really enjoyed. As well as the grants that Mary's makes to help Neymar Crafts move forward, Katie and Ben Ray are asking us to focus our thoughts and prayers on these six topics. And you can find these prayer pointers in Adele's letter. But for all those armchair shoppers, here's some excellent news. Neymar products are back in stock in the UK. Happy shopping. Let us pray. This week is the beginning of Fair Trade Fortnight, a time where we are encouraged to think about injustice and unfairness in our world. Proverbs 11 verse one says, the Lord abhors dishonest scales but accurate weights are his delight. And in chapter 14, verse 31, it says, he who oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Father God, we are aware that this world is not fair, that our choices about what we buy and what we consume affect other people across the world. We thank you that we are able to choose and often have the means to opt for fairly traded products. We pray that more and more people will become aware of the unfairness in global trade and choose to make fairer choices. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly for Nima Crafts that you would protect Tanzania from COVID outbreaks, sustain the orders for NEMA to allow them to pay staff. We pray also for their rainy season, that it will be okay and not cause undue harm or suffering. We also thank you for the arrival of Joe and Chloe, who are now part of the project and the team. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for schools and families as they cope with homeschooling and prepare for changes in the weeks ahead. Father God, support the NHS as they continue to work tirelessly to treat and save lives in the midst of the pandemic. And as lockdown is eased, we pray that the stress upon doctors, nurses, cleaners and support staff will not increase, but they would be able to begin to recover. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for the government, that you would give wisdom to those that are part of making decisions about lockdown, about the economy, about trade, and about the way we use our influence across the world. We thank you, Lord God, that we as a country are able to share the vaccine across the world with those countries that do not have enough. And we pray that that level of generosity would continue. 
that the injustice and unfairness in our world might begin to be addressed more and more, not only by churches and charities, but by whole governments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We also pray for those known to us who are sick or recently bereaved. And so in a short moment of silence, we name those who we know to you now. We pray that those people will be comforted and healed by your presence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. We bring our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our final hymn encourages us as we follow in the footsteps of our Lord. Faith overcomes. <laughs> 